Good morning, this is Hero. What's on the agenda? How about something like this? This is what I call my mountain top planting or mountain top style, right? Well, where do I get these? some of my road trips, especially like at the Sierras? You see uh, at the mountain top these growing. Now, I'll hike some, but not a uh, heavy duty uh, hiker. But I do have a zoom lens, well, multiple zoom lenses. So I could capture the essence of this without having to climb all the way to the top. But I've always been inspired by how things grow up there. So that's one of the reasons why I started to make this style. Okay, now, it didn't happen overnight. Um, the, one of the biggest problem of what I have to do is the economics. I had this idea where I was gonna make these out of ceramic, which is a good idea except the process is very long. You need specialized equipment, a lot of knowledge. Well, I got to the point where I could make it, but the process, took if you look at uh, the videos that I posted already, you could see how simply these were made. So I think this part here is under Creek Mountain. And then this part here is the Boniwa Tray. Uh, but it, it should be on my YouTube site. So you might want to look it up. I just thought that I'll show you how these get put together. Um, hopefully you'll make your own because you know what? I'm not making these anymore. Um, I like the challenge of making them, but it's been a long time and I'm getting tired. Well, what it is is the sack of cement that you have to buy, it's either 50 pounds or 90 pounds. And guess what? They're very heavy. Before, I used to be able to throw the 90 pounder on my back and here I go. But now I can barely pick up the 50 pounders, let alone the 90. So yes, it's economical, but it is kind of challenging if you're getting old. Okay, well, let's see how these were made. Okay, remember uh, in my earlier episodes about making Creek Mountain? That's what this is. And then down here, it is the tray. Now, these been around for more than 10 years, so now it really doesn't look like concrete. Very rough, and then especially See all that weathering on this? So it really doesn't, it looks like a very natural rock or something like that. And that's one of the beauties of doing this. It's very economical, anybody could do it, and in time, it gets better. As usual, I'm just putting the screen in place first. Uh, nothing too exciting about this part just so that the soil doesn't wash off. And then, we take the soil and fill the bottom. And you know, like I was telling you before, the beauty of these is that you only see this outer edge. Okay, what happens, or as we fill this, all you're going to see is this rough edge. That's why when I was making these, remember I said keep the edge rough? If you make it too smooth, then it doesn't have the interest. So that's what I'm doing right now, is just filling the bottom. And Ready to set the, the mountain. Next step is we're gonna use this olive today. 
and all we have to do is get it in there. But you're going, hero, it won't fit. Hmm, what to do? Well, how about if I do this and carefully Hey, it worked a lot better when I was practicing yesterday. Hey, once it's in there, what you do is kind of give it a squishy. See? See how simple it is? And the thing is, you know, you could put a seat and uh, wait it out, but this way we have a fairly mature tree in here and people will go, wow, how'd you do that? Okay, so now I just have to position this thing in and tidy up. Now it's starting to take shape, isn't it? See how simple it is? And I bet a lot of you are wondering, what do you do with those concrete things that I showed you a while back. So that's what I'm doing right now is kind of tidying up and ready for fertilizer and moss. See, it was very simple. Uh, clean up a little bit. And the thing is, as it starts to settle in, the moss will start to creep up or hang over. So it gets even better uh, as time goes by. But uh, the trick is to make your mountain and your tray. Now this could have gone into a more a shallow traditional bonsai pot, but this way kind of works together. Now the other beauty is um, this has no bottom. When you have a rock planting, it has a small pocket, so it's limited. This one is more or less unlimited. As it matures, it will spread into this area. Then what you do is you pick up this whole unit, trim that outside or the bottom, and then press fresh soil in there. So this arrangement will work until the trunk get bigger than the hole on the top. So it's really a very economical way to do older videos. Uh, those of you that are using uh, headphones, you'll notice that it's only one ear. Well, at the time when I got started, those were good pieces of equipment. And now that it's gone into high def and 4K, um, yeah, they seem a little bit archaic. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying what I'm showing you. Please stay safe. And I'll see you again in another chapter. Hopefully I can do like this, take uh, what we learned in the earlier chapter with my older videos and uh, actually see it being used. So this has been the mountain top uh, style that I developed a uh, whole oh, number of years ago. So anyway, it's all just simple concrete with some coloring and aged for more than a decade. See you again real soon. Goodbye.